Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol, and can you believe it? Panic at the Disco is breaking up. Now, how does this qualify as nerdy news, might you ask, considering that's what I usually cover? I don't know. The guy that plays Will in Stranger Things is also in a Panic at the Disco music video, and Stranger Things is kind of nerdy, I guess. That's, that's how I'm going to link this. Uh, but no, I want to talk about it because, well, does anyone care about Panic at the Disco anymore? I mean, ever since BTS hit the scene, they're kind of yesterday's news. That being said, I'm not the biggest fan, but I'll admit, Brendan Urie's incredibly talented, and I'm sure it is massive news for emo kids everywhere to know that they are breaking up. I mean, after My Chemical Romance, things couldn't get any worse. They at least had Fall Out Boy and Panic of the Disco to hold on to, and now I guess Fall Out Boy is all that's left. Let's go through here. Panic at the Disco announces a split. It's been a hell of a journey. Panic at the Disco, the pop rock band that formed in Las Vegas nearly 20 years ago and gradually became a solo vehicle for frontman Brendan Urie, announced on Tuesday morning that the group will end after its forthcoming European tour. Urie says he and his wife are expecting their first child and, I am going to bring this chapter of my life to an end and put my focus and energy on my family. And with that, Panic at the Disco will be no more. Now, I'll be honest, when this article says that it's pretty much just been, you know, the front man, Brendan Urie, a solo project for him. That's that's what it has been. Panic at the Disco, as we knew it growing up with, you know, I Write Sins on Tragedies, Nine in the Afternoon, songs like that. That's not been a thing for, shoot, probably half as long as they've been together. Leads me to believe Brendan Urie's probably just a massive diva, but who knows, I, I could be wrong. Maybe he was the only actual talented member. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's never been Panic at the Disco for the last decade or so. Still some good songs, still some hit tracks and whatnot, but... To me, this isn't really a big deal because I haven't considered Brendan Urie panic at the disco for quite some time. I've really just, more or less, anytime someone talks about a new Panic at the Disco song coming out, in my head, I just think of Brendan Urie. I say, yo, have you heard the new Brendan Urie song? I know it's technically Panic at the Disco, but I haven't thought about them like that for, for a while. So it's not really breaking up if all the band was gone and he was just using studio musicians or, or, or fill-ins for the last decade anyway. The final tour begins in Vienna on February 20th and concludes in Manchester, England on March 10th. Wow, that's a 20-day tour, that's it? That's not, not, not even 20 days, because February is a short month. That's that's a, not much of a European tour, if you ask me. Ask Black Sabbath what a European tour is like. I'm sure they can give you a better answer there, Brendan. Yuri's statement follows below in full. Well, it's been a hell of a journey. Growing up in Vegas, I could have never imagined where this life would take me. So many places all over the world and all the friends we've made along the way. <laughs> I guess that's what the real panic was. The real panic was the friends we made along the way. But sometimes the journey must end for a new one to begin. We've been trying to keep it to ourselves, though some of you may have heard. Sarah and I are expecting a baby very soon. The prospect of being a father and getting to watch my wife become a mother is both humbling and exciting. I look forward to this next adventure. That said, I'm going to bring this chapter of my life to an end and put my focus and energy on my family, and with that, panic at the disco will, no, will be no more. Thank you for all of your immense support over the years. I've sat here trying to come up with a perfect way to say this, and I truly can't put into words how much of it's meant to us. Whether you've been here since the beginning or just finding us, it has been a pleasure not only to share the stage with so many talented people, but also share our time with you. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone in Europe and the UK for one last run together. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for existing. Brendan. Now, I'm going to say it out the gate. Panic of the Disco is not done. He's either going to go on and do solo stuff, because, yeah, he's rich, yeah, he's put out some, some incredible music that's going to stand the test of time, maybe. At, at least I Write Sins Not Tragedies well. I mean, that that's, that's going to be a forever song. You can still get up at the karaoke bar, pop that on, and it's like Mr. Brightside. Every white person in the entire karaoke bar is going to start getting sloppy and having a blast. So, if nothing else, that song's immortalized. But he's not going to coast on royalties for that song forever, or at least I doubt it. So, he's going to take a couple years off, maybe do some solo stuff, and then eventually, when he's hard up for cash and needs to put his kid through college, there's going to be a Panic at the Disco reunion, which, once again, probably won't be the original lineup. It'll be just him solo, but he'll be going back and doing old Panic songs. So for anyone that's about to freak out or worry that this is the end of Panic at the Disco, no, no it's not. And I guarantee you, he'll be coming back as Panic a whole lot sooner than, you know, My Chemical Romance took to get back together. Let's keep going. The group, which released seven albums, formed in 2004, when Yuri... 2004, man, we're in 2023. Could Homeboy not make it to 2024 and at least not make it in even around 20 years? Like, the fact that he's stopping at year 19, does that bother anyone else? Maybe that's just a me thing, maybe that's my OCD, but I really wish he'd at least done, you know, 20 years. 
But whatever, anyway. In 2004, when Yuri and co-founders Ryan Ross, Spencer Smith, and Brent Wilson were in high school, the first album, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, was released the following year and driven by the hit single I Write Sins Not Tragedies, quickly vaulted them into stardom. The album was certified triple platinum. <laughs> yeah, this, this was near the very end when people were still actually buying albums. I mean, about 2005, 2006, that's when it ended. Give me a band after, let's say, Good Charlotte that actually sold records. Anyway, Triple Platinum, the group cleaned up at the MTV Video Music Awards their following year. However, Wilson left the band before the release of their sophomore effort, Pretty Odd, which represented a change in musical direction. Ultimately, Yuri and Smith were the sole remaining founders. Two more albums, Vices and Virtues, with Yuri and Smith playing all the instruments, and Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die, followed before Smith left unofficially in 2013 and for good in 2015. However, the band had long since become Yuri's solo vehicle. And, and yeah, that's, I mean, that's like what I was saying above earlier. It's, it was Panic of the Disco in name only. I mean, I remember I had the opportunity to see the Beach Boys a few years ago, but is it really the Beach Boys when there's only one original member left? I, even Pantera is back together. There, I'm sorry, there's no Pantera without Dimebag Daryl or, 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 or Vinnie Paul. I get it, Phil Anselmo is, you know, doing Pantera songs, but... At that point, it's just another band with, a, with an original member covering Pantera, as far as I'm concerned. And I, I have no uh, no differing thoughts on Brennan Urie. I mean, listen to High Hopes. That's not Panic at the Disco. That's Brennan Urie. Two more albums followed, interspersed with Urie appearing on Broadway and leading the role in Cindy Lauper's musical Kinky Boots. Hey, 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 while that's cool and all, don't discount his, you know, live rendition of the DuckTales theme on, I believe it was Jimmy Fallon, as someone who, you know, values DuckTales as the greatest children's cartoon ever made, and this man has put his stamp on it. Where's the love for that in this article? Come on, Variety, do your homework. He has collaborated with many musicians over the years, ranging from Fall Out Boy to, more recently, Taylor Swift, duetting with her and appearing in the elaborate video for her 2018 hit, Me. Yeah, and that song's atrocious. It's garbage. Even the biggest Brennan Urie fan out there has to acknowledge, not your best work, my guy. He relaunched Panic last year with the albums and single, Viva Las Vengeance, and followed with a tour, but the band failed to reach its previous peaks. I mean... To be fair, they'd hit some pretty high, or he had hit some pretty high peaks over the course of his career. Uh, and an album not being as big as the previous one, when you've reached the heights of them, that's really not that big a deal. With Yuri as the sole constant member of the band, it's unclear what distinction between Panic and his future projects will be. Yeah, so okay, e even this article thinks there'll be future projects, e exactly. But apparently he felt that name is no longer representative and, at age 35, decided it's time to move on from it. I mean, his, his next project is probably going to be called something like Panic at the Nursery. Or maybe he'll do uh, another Broadway play with uh, Cindy Lauper called Binky Roots. Um, maybe the album's going to be called, like, You Got Me Rattled. He's got so many directions he can go with this. Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much the end of this. Yeah, short, short and sweet article, not a whole lot to it, but... It is kind of, you know, the last death throes for emo. Give me an emo band that's still going, that has any sort of following, you know, anywhere close to what Panic! of the Disco has. I really can't think of any, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to think of it, but there isn't one. Is Jimmy Eat World still around? I, I, I don't know. Is All Time Low still around? If they are, they've lost all sense of relevance. I mean, yeah, you've got, you know, Ronnie Radke, but that's more of the post-hardcore, that's after emo, and that's more of a metal thing that sort of has some crossover now and again. Emo's dead, and in my opinion, it took far too long to die. Punk didn't need to go whiny. I mean, I guess you could say that Green Day kind of got into that emo phase, you know, with the American Idiot era, but even then, that wasn't really emo. That was, that was pop punk or punk with some emo flares now and again, and... And I won't lie, it's a genre I never did respect. It's a genre I liked. In fact, when I was younger, it's a genre I loved, but never really respected. I don't think punk or any offshoot of punk should be whiny. And that's what emo always represented to me. So for all the emo girls out there that are, that are crying and lamenting, um, just be happy, I guess, that he's the father and that he's moving on with his life in a positive way. I'm, I'm sure he wants the same for you. And... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got nothing. Panic of the Disco was just always okay at best. Maybe he'll go on to do a Netflix show like Gerard Way did. 
you know, something productive like that. that. That's the best you can hope for, right? He maintains relevance in some way, shape, or form because he needs you emo girls that haven't moved past 2007 to keep buying his stuff so that he can put his kid, like I said, through college. But that's all I've got for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below or on Twitter where you can find me at both the word. Are you a Panic at the Disco fan? Is this disheartening to you? Is this great news to you because you found them insufferable ever since 2004 and you've been holding on to nearly 20 years of hatred? If so, get some help, but also let me know in the comments below and do subscribe. Check out the back catalog where I cover nerdy news, Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, Star Wars, the Marvel Universe, you name it. We will find it here in the Nerdosphere. And until next time, this has been Words of Paradise.